Hello, I'm Barry Shore, Professor Emeritus at the University of New Hampshire and Head of Content Development here at SSGI. Artificial intelligence is a field that combines computer science and robust data sets to enable problem solving that, in the past, was done by human beings. In November 2022, an AI software application called ChatGPT was publicly released. It was certainly the most complex application of AI that had been introduced for general use. Within weeks, the website was overloaded as users rushed to get a first-hand look at what AI could really do in the very unstructured environment of knowledge acquisition and knowledge presentation. ChatGPT is a general-purpose text-based application that can be applied to a wide cross-section of activities, including Lean Six Sigma projects. Before we dive deeper into ChatGPT, it seems reasonable to ask if there is evidence that it is a serious AI tool. Let's look at two studies. In one, the same exam question that were given to law students at the University of Minnesota were entered into ChatGPT. In the second study, exam questions for MBA students at Wharton were also entered into this AI tool. The answers to the questions for both the students taking the exams and the GPT results were scored blindly. Remarkably, in both studies, chat GPT results scored in the middle of the class. AI passed the exam. Okay, let's access GPT, create an account, and see for ourselves. Go to chat.openai.com. Click on sign up and then enter the personal information requested. If you already have an account, simply log on. Once you have logged in, the following page appears. The text box at the bottom of the screen is where you can enter a question. For example, let's ask for a definition of pokayoke. Here is the response. Not bad, but that was a response to a simple question. Now for one that could prove more useful. Let's ask for 10 examples of Pokayoki. Here is an important point. ChatGPT remembers the topic, so the next question will continue from where the last one left off unless you start a new thread. So we will continue by simply entering 10 examples into the text box. The output is quickly shown on the next two slides. But we are not through yet. Let's ask for five examples in healthcare. Here is the outcome. Now we can still refine the request. Suppose we would like more information on the fifth suggestion. We enter. Can you give me more information on the fifth suggestion? Here is the response. Let's try another example. This one in quality control. All of the following is entered into the text box. Create a control chart where the vertical axis is defects and the horizontal axis is months. The sample size is 100. The average number of defects expected from a sample size of 100 is 4. The average standard deviation of the sample is 0.2. What are the upper and lower control limits? Here is the result of that query. Notice that GPT handles statistical analysis quite well. Here is another example of how ChatGPT can help us narrow the search 
for process improvements. Suppose that order processing times are long and customers have been complaining. Where do we look? We might ask ChatGPT the following question. What are the most common delays in order processing? The results help us in the search for the root cause of the problem. What about comparing ChatGPT to Google? ChatGPT is different from Google because it searches online across many different sites to answer a query in a way that best reflects a unique question. In Google, you might have to search several sites and then put the information together manually. Here is another difference that was illustrated in the Pokayoke example. Once you start a thread, ChatGPT allows you to continue asking questions as you refine the search. At this point, it is reasonable to conclude that ChatGPT does a very reasonable job as it responds to queries, but it does make errors, and there may be better responses to your questions. So it is best to use additional sources in your search for information, and above all, the final version should reflect your own voice. These are only a few examples of how ChatGPT can help in addressing Lean Six Sigma challenges and how it can help you use tools such as control charts or explore new alternatives such as uncovering opportunities when using Pokayoke in healthcare. If you are interested in earning a professional credential in Lean Six Sigma or moving up the credential ladder from a yellow belt to one that is higher such as the green belt, SSGI offers online courses at an affordable price. But in addition, we also offer a wide range of certification courses from process management to leadership. Click below for more information and thanks for watching.